What up, family? Um, I contemplated if I was going to make this video or not, but I said I got to. I got to let some stuff off my chest. Now, what you're looking at right now is the strict, and, and I'm sorry, it's everyone's opinions, but to me, it's a very strict dress code for a Houston treasure. Let me just say that it is a Houston treasure called the Turkey Lake Hut. Now, when I used to eat of the meats, this place was the bump. The, the, the turkey just falling off the bone. You pick up the turkey, you just have the bone. I mean, you just, it's just like where, where the meat goes. Oh, it's in the plate because it's that smoked, it's that tender. It just falls off the bone. It's delicious, y'all. I'm not I'm giving them their props. The sides, generous with the sides. The libations. They could be a little more liberal with the libations. Y'all water, y'all kind of, I, I, I can see, I can feel the water as I was drinking some of y'all, your, 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 your drinks there. Uh, but they decided the only way you could patronize our, our building is if you follow this strict dress code. Now, let me, let me start off with a few points here. First of all, your name is Turkey Lake Hut. Respect to you being a Houston hold it down treasure but your name is turkey lay hut if you don't know what hut means and i wrote it down to make sure and to help myself here a small single store building of simple or crude construction i'll say that one more time a small single store building of simple or crude construction serving as a poor rough or temporary house or shelter if you think i'm about to check my fit before i go to a spot called turkey lay hunt I'm just, I'll just let me just say, I'm just glad I'm vegan now. I ain't got to worry about this no more. I'm just glad I'm a vegan now. I don't have to worry about this no more. Number two, you serve in one of the most, I don't, I'm about to use bad grammar here, the most hot, and I say hot cities in Texas. There's probably other cities that is just as hot or hotter than us, but for, for what my experience, Houston is hot, Okay. I mean, I remember the first time I went there and waiting in line for my turn. I remember the sun leaning on my shoulder saying, what's up? It was hot. And unless you were the first one in, you had to sit outside. That means, so I'm getting leaned on by the sun while standing in line. Then I'm getting leaned on by the sun while eating of your, your, your delicious morsels. I'm not about to wear a three-piece suit, sweating, glistening in the areas I wish didn't glisten to eat some turkey leg. Now, finally, I say this. Uh, you might be saying, how, how can you talk about your culture like that? That is, that is a treasure. That is a black-owned business. I respect to that. It ain't even about that. I'm tired of these restaurants acting like they are the best thing in town. I'm going from Turkey Lay Hut all the way to, I don't know. I think, t tell me a fancy place. Think of the fanciest place. I want to eat some food. That's it. I want to get my food and go home. I understand to a certain extent. You don't want someone to just walk around naked in your place. But you mean I got to check all these rules before I even think about getting in my car, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. This is a capitalist society. You have so many choices. So if you want to go through all this to make sure that you get your turkey leg, do what you got to do. But turkey leg hut, chill out, bro. You good. But you ain't that good.